Welcome to our video on how the Cognos 10 JavaScript prompt API samples have evolved in the Cognos Analytics 11 environment. In this video, we will show the 10.2.2 prompt API samples, the equivalent 11.0.11 .11 samples, and what has changed. In Cognos Business Intelligence 10.2.2, the JavaScript Prompt API provided report authors with a method of customizing prompt interactions in the reports they authored. Fifteen samples were created to demonstrate how to use the Prompt API. After you install the extended samples, you will find the Prompt API samples in the Samples Prompt API folder. And if we navigate to Go Sales Query, under the package, here are the 15 samples. Starting in IBM Cognos Analytics 11.0.4, embedded JavaScript support changed and improved. Consequently, the 10.2.2 prompt API samples have been rewritten for 11.0.11 .11 using this new approach. You can find the upgraded prompt API samples here, along with the rest of the JavaScript samples. These JavaScript samples are a separate component, installed and configured separately from the product installation. So what has changed from 10.2.2 to 11.0.11? .11? Cognos Business Intelligence 10.2.2 used HTML items, JavaScript, and the Prompt API. The report is rendered in the Classic Viewer only. IBM Cognos Analytics 11.0.4 uses custom controls instead of HTML items and JavaScript modules. The report is rendered in the interactive viewer. Let's look at an example. If we run the first 10.2.2 prompt API sample called Clear Prompt Selections by clicking on the link, we can see that the sample allows the user to select multiple items and then demonstrates that clicking on a clear button using the prompt API clears all the selections. And to see how that's done, we can edit the report and we can see that an HTML item from the toolbox has been inserted into a small report. It can be placed anywhere but in this example, the JavaScript is used to create a clear button, so it was placed where we wanted the clear button to be. If we double click the HTML item, we can see the JavaScript code. This code has been provided as a sample. You can modify it if necessary to suit your individual requirements. Now let's look at the same sample report and see how it has been modified to use the new 11.0.11 .11 controls. We'll run it. We can see that the look and feel has been updated. And if we select some items and click clear, the user selections are cleared. To edit the report, we'll click the pencil. We can see that a custom control object from the toolbox under advanced has been inserted into a small report. It can be placed anywhere, but in this example, the JavaScript itself is used to create the buttons, so it was placed where we wanted the clear, cancel, and finish buttons to be. And if we select the custom control and open the properties, we can see that the module path property specifies the location of the JavaScript file. JavaScript that you want to add to a report must exist in a separate file that your web browser can access. This allows the same JavaScript to be shared and reused among many reports. Here is what the JavaScript code looks like. This code has been provided as a sample. It will look familiar to JavaScript developers. You can modify it if necessary to suit your individual requirements. Some tips on how we converted the 10.2.2 JavaScript into the 11.0.11 .11 versions are 
in 10.2.2, functions were attached to an arbitrarily named object, usually it was XFDF, to mimic a namespace to ensure the name uniqueness. These references, as you can see here, were removed in 11.0.11 .11 because namespaces are no longer required by the JavaScript code. Also, you'll notice that the new JavaScript code is much smaller than the code required for the prompt API to provide equivalent functionality. Thank you for watching this video on JavaScript prompting samples. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.